Erica if you're new here and this is my husband Josiah and today we wanted to share the birth story of our second daughter um, Eden and if you haven't seen our first one that we filmed it was um, the birth story of our first daughter Sayla and she was actually born at home and things didn't really go as expected with her so if you haven't seen that video make sure to check that video out first and then um, Yes, so in this it video... My, it was my first video too, so you gotta let me know how I did. Yeah, let him know how he did. <laughs> um, and so anyway, in this video we're gonna be telling the story of our natural hospital birth. So it um, was a lot different than our first birth, and we didn't know what to expect because it was our first time doing it in the hospital. It's like a totally different experience. And if you're wondering um, why we had to do it in the hospital, um, go watch the first video and you'll um, see like what kind of happened that made us have to um, do it in the hospital this time. Okay, so I, and I actually forgot to mention this in um, Sayla's birth story. With Sayla, I went into labor when I was 41 weeks and three days. And um, with Eden, I was 39 weeks. So it was um, June 17th and um, I'll start because he was sleeping again. <laughs> Okay, so it was at midnight when everything started, I think, or 12.30, something like that. And um, we were obviously in bed. And I started having, like, regular contractions. They weren't, like, strong or anything, but they were definitely, like, timeable. And so I started, like, timing them. Um, and which was, like, um, really different from... Um, my first birth because my first birth like they just like hit really really hard and my water broke it was just like really obvious that I was in labor um, but this time it came on really gradually um, but they were like pretty close together like I want to say like five minutes together or something like that um, so it wasn't like you know some people start off with like 20 minutes apart or something but they were just definitely like really really manageable and so I laid in bed sometimes I would get around get up and like walk around um, but yeah for the most part it was totally fine um, and it was like really strange because I was still nursing Sayla actually she was 16 months at the time and like for some reason she got up that night which like she never did and so she wanted to like nurse so she was laying in bed and nursing and it was just like really uncomfortable like I was just having contractions but I didn't want to tell him and she was like wanting to nurse and I was like what in the world so I was like super uncomfortable um but yeah so that went on until like three like they kept getting like stronger um and then they were like three minutes apart and um yeah I don't know they were they were just definitely I could tell it was like progressing, like it was getting stronger and they were getting closer together and really, really consistent. So you woke me up about what time was it? I think it was three. Around three? Yeah. Got me up and I was like, are you serious? Are you sure? Are you sure this is happening? You know? Yeah, I was like, I think we need to go to the hospital. It's like, like, are you serious? <clears throat> you know, can I, can I wait off a few hours, get my beauty sleep in, but... Yeah, like... Uh, but thankfully, my wife likes to be prepared and so... It didn't take much work for us to get going. She had uh, her hospital bag packed, ready to go, um, yeah, and like, everything was kind of. We were kind of just waiting for this baby to come, though. So we were we were pretty ready for it. Yeah, like, um, and I don't think one thing was like at the time his brother was like living, staying with us for the summer. Yeah. Um. So like, if he wouldn't have been there, like we probably wouldn't have gone. But like, I don't know, like. I don't know, I could just tell that I was definitely like in labor and so because I like didn't have experience with hospital birth the first time, like I didn't want to get there too late or something, even though like to me like, I don't know, my first labor was just like so long. So I thought I still had a long way to go, but I just wanted to make sure. Um, and also one thing was like I wasn't sure that I would be able to do it like all naturally and so I like... I said that I wanted to do it all naturally, but like after my first birth, like I was like, there's no way if I had <laughs> the access to the medication, like there's no way I'd be able to like turn it down. And um, so I like in my head, I was thinking like, if I don't get to the hospital in time, like maybe I wouldn't be able to like get medication or something. Um, even though like 
I did. I wanted to have a natural birth, but yeah. Um, I believed in you the whole time. You kept telling me, oh, as soon as I get there, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna want the, the pain medication and everything, but I knew you were strong enough. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so we got the bags and we put them in the car and we drove to the hospital. And I was like persistent on like just like walking through like the contractions. Cause like, I don't know, it just helped me to like stay relaxed if I just kept walking. I didn't want to like stand there and like clench all up and stuff. So I, um, we walked through and we went in. It was like 3.30 and they checked me and I was, um, uh, well, okay. I think I kind of want to like say more details about hospital births if like you haven't had one. Um, so like first you, you have to like check in, I think it was like the emergency room mm -hmm. and then they bring you to like this triage type room and, um, because they want to see like if you're ready to be checked in, um, if you're far enough along or whatever. And so they like hooked me up to like this um, thing to check um, to check my contractions. And I think they were, were they three minutes apart or? I think they were three yeah, minutes apart was, lasting like a minute. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think that's what it was. Um, and then they checked me and I was at three centimeters at like 3.30. And so I was definitely having like consistent contractions, really strong contractions, and so they said that they wanted me to wait um, for like an hour and then they would check me again to yeah. see if um, they would like actually check us in to a room. Um, so yeah, so then after that we just, well why don't you talk? I feel like I'm doing all the talking. What do you want me to say? I don't know. <laughs> <coughs> just say what we did next. We just waited in the room. No, we walked around. We did, yeah, for like, what, an hour and a half, two hours? It was like, okay, so after we got out of the room, it was like 3.30, no, it was like 4. It was, yeah. it was like 4. And so, um... I think it was 5. No, no, no. Oh. I'm not saying, I'm saying like before we walked around. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, so it was like 4 o'clock, and I was at 3 centimeters, and, um... So then we just like walked around the hospital and I kept like walking through them. They were definitely getting stronger and stronger. And I was really like, I feel like I was on the verge of like crying, right? Like they were just, they were getting pretty painful. Yeah. I mean, it's labor. You're getting. Yeah. But you're like I was still. excited. I was still like, I wasn't getting excited. <laughs> I was. <laughs> Not like, no, like I wasn't like nervous. I don't know. It was just, it was really, really different from the first one. Because, like, I would have breaks in between them, but, like, when they would come, they were pretty intense. But I would just, I just kept walking through them because that, like, really, really helped me was just, like, keep walking and not, like, Yeah, we just walked up. up and down the hallways for, like, an hour. Yeah. And, like, I could tell, like, the nurse came out again, like, I think it was, like, at 4.30 or something. She's like, so, do you want me to check you again? Because I think she could tell, like, okay, yeah, this girl is, like, really progressing, like, before mm -hmm. she even checked me. But I'm like, no, I'm going to, like, make it to an hour. Um, cause I just wanted to like wait longer before I was checked that way. Like it would be like more gratifying. Mm -hmm. Like I'd be like farther along. And, um, so we waited till five and she checked me and I was at five centimeters. So they <clears throat> said, you know, they could check me in. And, um, so when we were going to the room, she was like, so what do you, um, like, what is your plan as far as pain management? And I was like, well, you know, I would like to have a natural birth, but I don't know. I'm open to epidural. And um, so she's like, okay, well, um, you might want to decide that. Like, she kind of, like, wanted an answer out of me. And I was like, well, when would it be, like, too late to make a decision? And um, she was like, well, there's not really, like, a certain point where, like, you can't, like, a certain, like, point that we can, like, tell you. But, like, by the time you would, like, ask for an epidural, like, maybe you would already be in the in the pushing stage and then obviously it's too late and whatever. And I was like, well, you know, like my first labor is really long. I'm like, I got a long way to go. I, th yeah. I feel like I have a long time. She's like, yeah, that's what we kept thinking. Know. Yeah. She's like, you're progressing pretty well. So you probably need to make a decision really soon here. And I was like, Ugh, no, cause at that point it was totally manageable, like totally. Um, and I like even said like, if it's like this the whole time, I could totally do it. Yeah. But like, I <laughs> knew how my first labor was and how, like, I just, I couldn't have said no. So I knew it was going to get worse. And so I was just so torn. 
And then like my midwife wasn't there at the time, like she was in the hospital, mm -hmm. but not like with me. So anyway, so they, the nurse was like, well, how about I go talk to um, your midwife and we'll see what she says. So then she came back and she was like, so I talked to your midwife and she was wondering like, what was it about your last labor that would make you want to get an epidural this time? Like, was it the, um, was it the actual pain or was it the longe longevity of the labor? Like, yeah. and being so tired. And like, she said that because I had told her previously, like, I could handle the pain for like five or six hours, you know, I could handle that. Mm -hmm. But it was just like so long and I was just so dead by the end, like dead tired. Um, and so, um, she's like, okay, well, she really wants you to think about that because you're progressing like pretty quickly now. Mm -hmm. And so it's probably not going to be like that. Um, and we were like, so, yeah, psh, you don't know. I know. You don't know us. You don't know how we labor, you know? Yeah. Like I still like, I didn't believe that it was going to be like anywhere soon, um, that we would have her. But, um, so I was like, Ugh, like she's convincing me not to do the epidural. <laughs> like, I mean, obviously like she wasn't like convincing me but like she knew that I wanted natural birth and so she was trying to you know um trying to have that happen and then Josiah yeah. was like um he was like you just take it just take the pain meds. no he wasn't uh, <laughs> he was like I know you can do it and like you're mm -hmm. already like over halfway there and blah yeah. blah blah and I was like come on guys <laughs> like because like inside I just I just like kind of wanted the medication but no pain no gain you know that's what they say so I was like, okay, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> and um, so then I was like, I don't know. Um, so then we <clears throat> got into the room yep. and they filled up the tub for me. Yeah. They had really nice um, like jet tubs and um, they had like bars where you could like hold on to them. They're not like the birth tubs, like what we um, attempted to do with the first one, um, but they're like a large, bathtub like mm -hmm. pretty comfortable mm -hmm. um so yeah so i went in there and yep. that was really nice um i would like hold on to like the bar while i was having contractions and like even though like my arms were tense like i could let my body my bottom half like float mm -hmm. and so that like really helped to like just like relax and i think by the time i got out it was like seven uh, by the time i got out and they checked me again yeah i think it was seven when they checked mm -hmm. me again um and i was at like seven i think i think you're farther really yeah no because they checked me again i thought they checked me again and then i sat on the ball for a while yeah where would you get a ball you don't remember the ball no there was a ball did we bring one on. i don't no. remember that so I think they checked me at seven and I was like seven or eight. And um, so then I like sat on like their, their like um, birth ball and um, they, the nurses were like so good about doing like the hip squeeze and they were seriously like amazing. Um, but I'm gonna do a video on like the pros and cons of like hospital birth versus like home birth and stuff like that. So I'll talk more about that in that video, but they were great. So I was on the ball for a little bit and then I think they could just tell by like how intense it was and everything um, that like I was probably like fully dilated. So I laid on the bed and um, I was like fully dilated, but my water still hadn't broken. Yeah, and at this point she was contracting pretty hard. Stop saying contracting, <laughs> you're so annoying. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot you said that. <laughs> My whole pregnancy, he would say contraptions instead of contractions. <laughs> You're so annoying. Anyway, yeah, I was contracting pretty hard. <laughs> um, so what was I doing? Describe to me. You were just laying in how bed. I was. <laughs> you were just laying on your back in bed, and they were bringing you food, water, whatever you wanted. You're pretty much getting pampered. I had to sit in this like, Joe, this uncomfortable chair. What are you talking about? I don't know what are you talking about. When I was in labor. <laughs> yeah, right, right. They were not bringing me food. <laughs> what are you talking? About? No. Maybe the food is for me. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Ah, I'm totally off the story now. I, I don't. 
<laughs> I don't remember any of this. It's okay, it's so... a big blank spot in my life. I don't know what happened. Okay, so anyway, I was fully dilated, and I, they said, do you want us to... My midwife was there by that point, and she said, do you want me to break your water? And I was like, yeah, because I was just like... Yeah, I was just ready to be done mm -hmm. and fully dilated, whatever. So I didn't have any, like, hesitations about um, her breaking my water. And so she did, and it was, like, real warm. And I was like, man, not I just want to take, you. like... Yeah, for me. No, not for me, for you. Yeah, for... What are you talking about? I was like, I just want to take a bath in this. <laughs> like, it was so warm. <laughs> um, and... It's gross. So then, of course, like, after that, it's, like, more intense I guess if you can get more intense um and but I was still like all the way up to that point like I still like had breaks in between I could talk in between mm -hmm. like it was great so um I remember I was drink I was drinking some um coconut water mm -hmm. right I drank some coconut water um because I heard that was good for like keeping your <clears throat> electrolytes up and stuff like that yeah. and not just like plain water um, and let's see, I had you get, put some, like, peppermint oil on a cold rag and, like, hold it. I, like, put it on my face, I'm pretty sure. I just, like, <laughs> Ugh. Um, because I was obviously really hot and, um, yeah. Um, and that was, like, really good. It was really cooling. Why are you sitting like that? Okay, so it was, like, 7.50 by that point, and, um, my... I was like definitely like I needed to push and um, my midwife like checked and just like the first time um, with my first daughter I, there was like a lip that was like still sticking out and so she had to like pull it back with her fingers and last time um, in my first birth like they didn't catch that so I'm really really thankful that she caught it this time and she pulled it back and I had to like push through and that hurt really really bad. Because she pulled it back and she's like okay push and you were like I can't do it. I can't do it. And yeah. she's like, Jessica, listen, give me 10 minutes. Yeah. 10 minutes of pushing and this baby's going to come out. She's and like, I was no like, it is. Yeah. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, I can't give you 10 minutes. <laughs> like, oh, okay. I forgot to say, it was so like terrifying going into the pushing because, um, in my first birth, I was so tired by that point. I did not feel anything down there. And so this time, like, I was fully, like, coherent, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to feel her coming out. And, like, I just was so much more, like, aware. And so I felt everything down there, and, like, oh, it was so scary. So anyway, I was like, I cannot give you 10 minutes of this. And, like, I just, I, I don't know. Anyway, so then, like, I, like, did one push, and she's like, you know what? I said 10 minutes, actually make that two. And I was like, okay, I can do two minutes. Um, Cause apparently, I don't know if I'm a really good pusher or what, but <laughs> she was just coming. So um, then like she had me, um, she kind of like coached me through like pushing, like um, when she was coming out. So she would say like, okay, give it a big push. Okay, stop. And then like breathe. <laughs> so I'd have to go like that. Cause she was like trying to like make sure I didn't tear. Um, even though what I wanted to do was just go, and just like shoot her across the room <laughs> but like I, I couldn't so I had to like hold it and it was just like oh my gosh like you don't even know unless you've had a baby like just that like pressure and so you have to like hold it and like I could feel like the burn and everything um but like, I was just so happy at that point like it had been so fast and like I can't believe the baby's already coming like we didn't even tell anybody I was in labor I don't know it was just such a good feeling even though it hurt real bad um it was just so surreal that it happened so fast um, but anyway, so yeah, so she like helped me, um, coached me through like pushing and she came out and I didn't have any tears or anything and, um, she came out really purple. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, but she was that's okay. Not, that's not my baby. <laughs> no. And, um, she was like fine, but she wasn't like crying. Like with Sayla, she was yeah. screaming and with Eden, she was just so chill and she was just looking around and... Yeah, I, I was getting kind of worried because I'm like watching this baby and... Yeah. And she was like like purplish black and I'm like, what's going on? She was not black. It was dark, dark purple and I'm like, man, this, yeah. is, this doesn't look right. I could tell like the nurses were like a little bit like... Like they were trying to like rub her and then my midwife was like, don't rub her too hard because like... I remember like 
telling her like because I've seen hospital births before that like scared me because I told my midwife all my like fears of hospitals because I watched so many like births where I'm like no that's not what I want and like I see him like rip the baby from the mom and like wiping off the baby's face and it's like so sad and so I was like telling this midwife and I was like does that actually happen like do they do that and so she was like really like sensitive um about that and so, so she was like telling the nurses like be careful like don't rub all the vernix off and stuff like that because I had told her that before which was just like so cool because I'm like how does she even remember that you know <laughs> like I don't know how she remembers like with all the patients that she has but anyway um but she was just so sweet and she's like she's okay and they just like rubbed her back a little bit and I don't even think she ever cried and like I said I was like really scared about the hospital like and the nurses like taking her away and like I for me like the skin to skin time was like really important and they just like totally left us alone like I think we were like the baby was on me for like two hours or something or like at least an hour and a half before like yeah. they even did any like tests or anything I mean obviously they do like the Apgar like right away um which is just them looking at the baby but as far as like doing actual like tests mm -hmm. measurements anything like that um like they totally like waited they went out of the room mm -hmm. and it was just like it was so sweet yeah it was a pretty peaceful time yeah it was so peaceful we can collect our thoughts and and kind of just take in the moment of our, our new baby and just be with each other it was just it was an amazing birth like and i'm so thankful that i did it naturally and like i can't believe that i've had two natural births now and like they were so different they were so so different but like i don't know i just feel like after like the difficulty of my first one like there were so many people like praying for me and um like his sister has like um boys and they would like pray for me all the time like every day when i was pregnant they would like pray yeah. for me that i would have like a good labor because the last one was just so scary and like i just feel like i totally answered my prayer like it was just everything that i'd ever seen in like a birth story like you know having breaks between contractions getting to talk between them um getting to be in the water having like a pretty quick labor having like amazing nurses an amazing midwife it was just like Everything, literally everything was perfect. Mm -hmm. The baby was totally healthy. Like, it was just, yeah, it was such a big answer to prayer. It was so. a boring story, but. I know. But it's, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. It's not as interesting as last time. <laughs> yeah, but it's a great blessing that it was so boring because, yeah. I mean, no one wants to kind of go through um, the pain of like almost losing a loved one or just seeing the anxiety that that can bring. And, mm -hmm. uh, so I guess we were blessed with that. Yeah, definitely. Definitely blessed. So we yeah. left the next morning and went home and it was great. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm really thankful. Anyway, stay tuned for my video on the home birth versus hospital birth to kind of like see um, the pros and cons of each. Um, they're very, very different. Um, but yeah, I have like a few thoughts. Um, I'll just go into detail um, in a different video instead of like putting it in these videos. Um, but yeah, and if you haven't watched the um, home birth story, definitely go check that out. It's a really interesting one. And subscribe if you want to see my future videos. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Can you say hi? Hi. Say hi. Hi, I'm Eden. Do you wave too? Can you say bye-bye? Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. bye. <laughs> Everybody's